Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, RootKindleFire.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM on your Kindle Fire. Um, before you do, uh, make sure you make a backup of your ROM, um, stock ROM, so you can go back if something goes wrong. And uh, if you haven't, uh, instructions are at RootKindleFire.com. So uh, once you download a ROM such as ICS ROM that's floating around, um, go copy it into your Kindle Fire while, while it's on, or you can do it in uh, Torp Recovery. Um, turn off your Kindle, and then turn it on, and then press, uh, pull down the power again until it turns orange, so you can enter Torp Recovery. And here we can simply wipe system and install it. It's pretty simple to do. And also you can back up and restore ROMs. So this should be loading soon. Uh, I'm in installing the Kindle Zone ICS ROM. So what you're going to do is uh, make sure you made a backup first. Um, if you haven't made a backup, so you can restore back. Uh, I'm going to back it up because ICS, the one I'm installing right now, doesn't have video. So I'm going to restore it back once I do a review of it on my YouTube channel. Um, do a wipe and do factory reset. And do factory reset. And when that's done, we're gonna just simply go to install and uh, um, choose the the ROM zip file. Hit back. Um, hit back again. Hit install. Um, you see the Kindle Zone ICS. That's my ROM zip file. Um, you know, so I'm gonna hit that, and it'll say down here Kindle Zone Flash. And uh, you might get some error, just ignore it. Um, there's no MISC folder in, in the Kindle Fire, that's why you're getting that error. But, uh, we should have an ICMS ROM loaded here, uh, which I'll ha also have a review of on my channel. Um, so when that's done, uh, we will be... Ooh, it's installed pretty quick. We'll be rebooting, and uh, re if it if you... Okay, hit re you reboot, reboot system now. And uh, once... Um, once it reboots into the uh, ice cream sandwich, then we've successfully installed a new ROM. And uh, you can restore it back to the Kindle Fire um, stock rooted ROM if you want later. So there's the boot up logo. Hi all folks, so it's still loading. Um, so I think there's like one or two ROMs out there right now. I'll have uh, reviews of them at uh, my site rootkindlefire.com. The good thing is if you watch my videos then uh, you have a guinea pig, that's me, and I get to try it and then all you have to do is follow my instructions and uh, you won't have trouble um, but you know sometimes people go to other sites and they'll download it and try it and, and then ask me to help them and I don't know where they began so just saying. Anyway today was a great day um, I've got the, I fixed my car, the coil ignition coil. It only took me like 15 minutes and I even took a YouTube video about it. Oh, so there's ICS. So that's how you install a ROM. Um, it's the same thing, wipe and install. And if something goes wrong, you can always go back into Torp Recovery and clear cache and Dalvik cache because uh, those two, it won't touch anything. It just caches, temporary folders that you can clear out. Sometimes it messes with the market and whatnot. Anyway, that's how you uh, install a new ROM. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe um, to rootkindlefire.com. Thanks, y'all. Guys, bye-bye. Later.